What's ambient? The ambient temperature just like of the air? Yeah, actually I'm not sure. Maybe the ambient temperature like, dude, what's the ambience like in here? Ooh, it's hot! Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on guys? I am Matthias and welcome to another episode of 10 tech items that may waste my money. <laughs> because we found out that most of you do not buy these things that I buy because I'm buying them for you so I can waste my money instead of you. Tanner has picked out 10 items that he deems could either be tasteful or wasteful, but I will be that deciding factor. Okay. First item, emergency power USB hand crank, <laughs> hand crank SOS phone charger camping backpack. Okay, so I think the idea here is that if your phone dies and your all your other batteries die, this will always charge your phone, right? You'll always have your phone. But how fast could it possibly charge it? Maybe enough to the point where it'll get a call off or maybe someone will just be doing this in the background while you're on the phone. <laughs> you know, if you got a long enough cable, if you don't have a long enough cable, it's just like, and you're like, shut up, shut up, stop it. And then you stop and then it dies. I think the slower you crank, the less, uh, you know, the less power you can get. 22 product ratings, four out of five stars. Two people view this per hour. It's like my vlog channel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. My vlog channel's right there. I get hundreds of thousands of views, not millions though. I don't need views, I get views. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna buy it now. There you go, dude. Look at that. Look at this thing, dude. Why is it sealed though? Important, crank clockwise. <laughs> Oh gosh. What happens if you don't crank your clock? It probably just doesn't generate electricity. It's probably just negative energy. Just takes all the juice out of your phone. Oh, what? That. What is this? This is not what the picture looked like, I feel. See, the idea of this is that you crank it clockwise and you plug your phone into that. What is this though? Oh, this is an old product that we tested before. This is gonna verify that if it gives us power. They included that with it. They to show that it can also be a flashlight. Oh, you see that, dude? That's pretty dope. But watch, let's see if we can do it really slow. Yeah, see see how it supplies less power as I'm doing it slower? Ooh. Oh, you're right, it is important to go the other way. Oh, what is that sound now? It didn't sound like that before? No, it didn't, did it? <laughs> before I started clink, clinking. <laughs> before I started cranking counterclockwise. Counterclockwise cranking. Say that five times fast. Counterclockwise cranking, counterclockwise Faster. cranking, counterclockwise cranking. See, it's not fair. <laughs> you put Clounter, five minutes. Clounterclockwise. <laughs> <laughs> Type it five times fast in the comments. All right, let's see if I can get my phone charging right now. Let's see what this does. I think you gotta go faster now. This thing keeps getting caught in the way, dude. I think we broke it going counterclockwise. I totally broke it. Yeah, counterclockwise, they're right. Important not to go the other way. Well, that's a wasteful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did go the opposite way, but <laughs> come on. I went like three turns. It didn't even provide power when it was working though. That wasn't working. I'm telling you, that sound wasn't there before. You but it, the light was lighting up, but now it doesn't even light up. Oh, yeah. I cranked too hard, dude. Story of my life. All right, well, next product. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it because it's art and you're like trying to find out what it means. No, so, actually I was lost in thought. <laughs> so do you know who made this painting? No, can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> no, can you imagine? <laughs> it's, that's what, oh. Can you imagine melting clock? Can you imagine a melting clock? I don't have to, it's right there. A work of art that tells you the time. Rather horribly though. Valley. Can you imagine the future of fun? It's not this, I can tell you that. Can you imagine how much fun you'll have when you watch the clock? Can you I imagine? thought this was pretty interesting. Can you imagine <laughs> watching a clock? I'm having so much fun watching time go by. <laughs> Surreal quartz shelf clock. Artistic conversation piece. Simply place on shelf or mantle. No mounting hardware required. Oh, so dumb. Look at this. Some weird ish, dude. I didn't even read that clock. What do you mean? You've never seen Roman numerals before? No. <laughs> Wait, what are all those things? What are all those signs, dude? What is that? Ancient alien hieroglyphics? <laughs> I have the perfect place for it. And when they sit on it, it just crushes slightly. You'd be like, dude, you so heavy, you just broke time. I knew I was going to say that joke. <laughs> it's not even a joke, though. It doesn't even make sense. It's a bit. Yeah, you broke time. How could you break time, though? Why are you arguing? Let's rewrite this joke. Do black holes have anything to do with time? They have everything to do with time, yeah. Yeah, so how could you break a black hole? Dude, you just sat on that clock and you made a black hole. <laughs> <laughs> so you stopped on? Not to mention, you sat on it with your black hole. <laughs> there you go. We came around, we found it. <laughs> that's a horrible joke. <laughs> your black hole stopped time. <laughs> there you go, that's it. <laughs> and black is in dark, because not a lot of light gets to it. Kotobu Kotobukaya Star Wars The Force Awakens Kylo Ren Light Up Chalk Sticks. <laughs> Why was that the hard work? Because I was you? trying to say like chalk sticks from a hit film. Fun and functional. Use alongside other Star Wars kitchenware items. Dude, <laughs> I like using chalk 
chopsticks. Oh, I but love it. No place will ever give me chopsticks. You ever notice that? When you're white, they don't give you chopsticks, they give you forks. Really? Yeah, 100%. I always just ask for a chopstick. Exactly. You have to ask. My wife, who's Asian, never has to ask. They just give it to her. Literally in the same table, they'll give me a fork and her chopsticks. Stop. <laughs> like every place I've ever gone to. That's messed up. And I'm like, come on, I speak the Asian. <laughs> <laughs> just like that? Just like that. And I'm like, why are you giving me chopsticks? So they bring you another fork? <laughs> <laughs> they bring me another fork. They're like, uh-huh. Yeah, you speak Look, Asian. if you look at it, there's just four tiny chopsticks on it. <laughs> and I'm like, good. <laughs> and then I keep eating. No, that's not what happens. But they do give me uh, that trouble. Add to cart. <laughs> I got you some neuter. Dude, that's offensive to what, my wife. Chopsticks? No, the way you said noodles. Neutered. I'm gonna tell my wife you said that. She can watch the video. I'm, that's just how I say neutered. Are you asking to be neutered? I can a call a doctor <laughs> and they'll neuter you. I'm too young for that. <laughs> <laughs> the way you say that makes me think you should be. <laughs> <laughs> so how do I ignite the blade? You oh, dip it in. Look at that. Okay. So then, that okay. Oh, it turned off. Oh, it's dead already. Well, there you go. Isn't Chipotle uh, a Mexican spice? Um, I think so, yeah. It's like Isn't a smoky. It? What is with the horrible abomination of Asian and Mexican cuisine all in one? <laughs> you gotta know this is invented by a white person. Wait, yeah. is that How about, Chipotle flavor? Yeah, I Chipotle flavor. Chipotle chicken. Some white person was like, yeah, that'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, weird. it's working. The only issue is why wood chopsticks are a little bit better is because they have a little bit more grip. These, as you can see, are slipping right off. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. Probably doing it wrong too, because this is why they don't give me chopsticks. I like the lightsaber esque part. I think this works better as just like a little mini prop. You know, like when you get super mad, but you don't want to break a lot of stuff, you just. <laughs> you know? So I'll say wasteful, sadly, but it's cool as a prop. But that's about it. So I'll, put, I'll use it as a prop. Wait, what? Now it stopped working again. These things stink, dude. They're like getting jammed and stuff. They're not supposed to do that. This one doesn't even work at all. You yeah, no, this is definitely a wasteful. Back hair shaver, man groomer, ultimate flex head, body power trimmer. So we got this for Connor, didn't we? Yes. Awesome. I've always wanted to role play as his mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, that doesn't work because this is a self back trimmer. You can role play as his mom with a regular one. Yeah, so I, I'm gonna have him. <laughs> <laughs> caress me from behind. <laughs> no, I can't do this bit. I can't do this. I was gonna shave his back. This is not gonna work. It's a little bit weird. What? You know I'm, what I'm so saying? like you're he, me. He goes from behind. I'm him. Why is and Connor hugging his, his mom back. from behind? No, no, no. Well, yeah, just because he loves his mom. Like, hey, mom, love you. Hug, hug your mom from the front. Don't hug your mom from behind. <laughs> I'm just saying. What kind of relationship with your mother do you have? <laughs> I knew when I started this bit, I was like, this is not going to work out well for me. <laughs> Let's add the card, dude. Get this bit over with. Boom. There we go. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to open this up. How does this work? Oh, it's just supposed to lock like that. And then you... That'll, so strong. <laughs> that'll cut Connor's hair for sure. <laughs> okay, let's go give Connor his new gift. <laughs> oh, I like this. Hey guys, don't 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 fret, but I'm gonna just turn on your lights real quick. I got a present for you, Connor. Stop, dude, no. It's gonna, it's gonna <laughs> no, blow it's, up. I, no, I wouldn't do oh. it. I wouldn't do it near the computers, right? See these computers? These are beautiful computers. Subscribe to Get Good Gaming. Are you oh, gonna wow. show it, Tanner? No, I don't even see this. <laughs> What is that? That scared me, dude! Was that a back shaver? Dude, let's go! <laughs> yes! Bro! Dude, that's actually really cool. Wait, does it turn on? Dude, he's actually stuck! Whoa! <laughs> dude, it's hardcore too for your thick hair. Dude, that's scary. That's a chainsaw. That's not a... If your back, like, actually gets cut up, I want to know. Cause that, that'd be cool. He wants, he's gonna show up one of these days with like a streak through the top of his head. <laughs> <laughs> Just go I gotta shoot him up. Oh no! There you go, dude. Thank Merry you, Christmas. 3M precise mouse pad with repositionable adhesive backing and battery saving design. Battery saving design? <laughs> okay, what? Is this so you can keep it portable on the go or something like that? Because I'm pretty sure if that's not gonna be the place that you put your mouse pad on the top of your laptop. Where I work best <laughs> with the laptop. Can you course. imagine like you just start using your mouse and you're just like, where's my screen? <laughs> <laughs> it's not working. No, I, I assume it's like the peel and stick where you can like stick it onto something else. Battery saving design. Are they, are they saying that this particular pattern enhances the quality of the laser of the bottom of your mouse and potentially even the battery consumption battery saving design
design extends battery life of wireless mice. Where is this claim coming from though? Okay, it's somewhere in here, but I don't know if I want to read it all. <laughs> Precise mouse pad enhance the precision of the optical mice at fast speeds and also extends battery life of wireless mice up to 50%. Why? They need a proper surface to work on to reduce the loss of signal and skipping errors. So a mice deals with skipping errors and they're claiming that's what leads to the consumption of a mouse battery. Lab testing showed that optical mice from leading manufacturers drew less current when using this mouse pad. Okay, maybe because it can detect where it's moving a little bit better. Add to cart. <laughs> Stores on the back of your notebook. Extends battery life 15%, 15, 15%, 15% guys. <laughs> Look, you see a 15? There it is. <laughs> That's an A1 testing right there. Just dead silent. Just like, For all the people clicking in thinking they're getting actual product reviews. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> they're just like, who is this guy? this guy? How does he get so many views with these product reviews? I'm like, eh, it doesn't really work that great upside down. D minus 11. <laughs> That's my rating. And it was like, yeah, D minus 11. That, that makes, makes sense. sense. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if I can put it on my screen and, and use it. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I put it on the top of my screen, but then again, it blocks your screen. You can even use my face to mouse around on. Oh yeah, it works way better. Yeah, right? Just buy it. I think it's the best use of my face, really. Honestly, and it's hidden too. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll say tasteful. Before we get into the next product, big shout out to Amanda for clicking that notification bell icon and commenting down within the first 30 minutes. Thank you very much. Here's a shout out for you. Next product. Smart thermometer, dolphin thermo capsule, non-contact skin. Okay, so maybe this is one of those capsules that you swallow and you can internally take your temperature. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, dude? Yeah, I'm kind of nervous about this, I'm gonna be honest. You're gonna take your temperature internally. I mean, it's better than a rectal thermometer. Isn't this still kind of a rectal thermometer? Yeah, I guess, because you gotta poop it out. Yeah, I guess. I don't think you're supposed to eat this though. Body temperature of kids and adults. Object temperature of baby milk. Alarm for smartphone. What? How do you tell the temperature of an alarm? Oh, there's a sensor. There's the body. Here's the cover. Here's the logo right here, guys. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where? There's no logo. Ear jack. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we take our temperature. Also can measure temperature of metal, plastic, wood, water, glass, ambient wine. <laughs> I read that as ambient wine. Yeah. <laughs> ambient? What's ambient? The ambient temperature just like of the air? Yeah, actually I'm not sure. Maybe the ambient temperature like, dude, what's the ambience like in here? Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> Baby milk? Yeah, baby milk. How are you gonna just casually get the temperature of baby milk? What do you mean? You look at it. That Usually is... you, you test it with your, your elbow. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's no way. No, you do. I'm not that gullible, there's no way. Do not Google baby. this right test now. Test baby milk with elbow. The most sensitive part inside of your wrist, not your elbow. Let's <laughs> see, so your elbow is actually the least sensitive spot. I know. Add to cart. All right, here we go, guys. This is all gonna happen right now. All right, Tanner, open your mouth. Wait, I can't swallow that. <laughs> this is the giant pill. It's like a finger. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Guys, I don't have a headphone jack because I'm an elitist. Okay, so we're gonna use a dongle, guys. Have you ever heard of these things? And it's not the thing inside your pants. <laughs> Okay, thermal capsule, open. Okay, please open the capsule. Press the button to start the measurement. Okay, it says 34 degrees. I'm dead. Oh, Celsius. Celsius. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just change that to Fahrenheit for us American folk. 94 degrees, yeah, that's that's not great, but it, evidently for this baby, it's great. <laughs> like, oh, it's a nice baby. Let's do that a little bit closer. 97.3. Wow, it was good no matter what. I think 94 degrees is not good. No. The issue with this is that there's a lot of room for user error. I'm sure you can get to it to, to make it take accurate readings, but parents are negligent and they might take poor readings, which might give them incorrect data, which might say that their, their baby's fine. I'm gonna say that's wasteful. Just be normal and get a rectal thermometer, okay? Merge cube. The name of that is not great. Hold holograms in your hand with award-winning AR toy for kids. iOS, Android phone. Okay. Okay, so this, <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you imagine? <laughs> Just, this is what kids are doing these days, dude. <laughs> Just go out and play with a stick. <laughs> I can't have fun until I have a merge cube, mom. <laughs> Literally needs like a thousand dollar device strapped to their head to play with like a plastic little cube. Like use your imagination. What's wrong with imagination these days? I think kids have imaginations no matter what. Yeah, if you're not a great parent and you use like your phone as like a device for them to just use up all their time rather than to force their imagination. You know what I mean? Because like for instance, Minecraft's out there and it's letting kids be crazy. Easy creative. A phone or a computer is not a bad thing. It's basically how you use it, right? Creativity parallels with curiosity. <clears throat> 
Mm. So I think anything that fits in that realm is gonna allow mm -hmm. it to work. You know? Yes, yeah, so this, I don't know, I can't say anything about it yet. Let's say we buy toys for Luna, doesn't really care. She'd much rather like go and grab something that's ours off the shelf or, you know, like find a rock and play with that. Yeah, so maybe if you can make things with it, I don't know, add a card, hit me with that. Oh, okay. I think it's a cool idea. The first holographic object you can hold in the palm of your hand. Use your phone. Holographic play. Touch and play with the holograms. The only issue with like this kind of stuff is that like you have to be looking through your phone. And it's like, that's not a fun way to live your life. It's like, one thing to be looking at your phone, but now you're looking at life through your phone. It's a dangerous precedent to be set. It says, get started mergecube.com. Activation code. Oh, I just gave everyone my activation code. So evidently there's three apps right here. I can choose any one of these three. Oh, it's soft. There's more than three apps. Oh, okay, so you I just only... downloaded the, these? Yeah. <laughs> it would just spit you on your beard, dude. Stop. This... I think it went lower than it. Okay, you see this? Interesting. So it keeps telling me to put it back up like this. Okay, so do I press it? No, I can't press it on here because there's no like green screen, but I have to click start on here, I assume. Round starts in three, two, one. What are we doing? Go. Disconnect all of the green wires. Okay, green. I still have to, I have to aim at it with the phone. I actually... I have no idea what's happening right now. How do I disconnect this green wire? That'd be better if you would be able to interact with the actual cube instead of having to interact through the phone. I think you'd be able to do it. Let's say you made this like a bright green cube, then the phone would be able to potentially key in real time. Not key frame, but uh, key out, chroma key. So, I mean, it's possible and that's what I wish they would have done, but I'm, I'm stuck on this, so I'm just gonna, oh, ready, oh my God. Why did it count down and then <laughs> ask me to say ready? Are you ready? I, Are you ready? So this is dumb too. I have to like, I have to literally go over here and click the phone. Okay, so now I'm ready. Now I'm gonna just, come on, dude. What you doing, dog? Oh, I did, I already disconnected it. So I go back. Where did it go? Oh, it's still not disconnected. There's two sides to this. Task complete. Okay, round two starting in one, two, three, go! But then it says ready? <laughs> That's what threw me off. Activate all the number two switches. Enter the sequence seven, five, one on the keypad number five. Keypad number five. Oh, it just literally gave it seven, five, seven. Okay, next app. Okay, so what's this? What's happening here? Okay, so there's like different things I can do in here. So that's kind of cool. So let's see a hollow body. Whoa, so you can kind of like hold a heart in your hand. Like if you're a big fan of Indiana Jones. Or if you're single. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can kind of like see every part of it. And then if not, you can click the little back. Oh, there's a skull. That's interesting. Why is the mouth moving? It creeps me out. It's like it's talking to us. Matt, you suck. Okay, so let's look at something else now. Let's look at the castle. Oh, now that's cool. I, I don't know why, but that seems like way cooler to me. The only issue is I really wish it did key out your fingers. I wish it did key out your fingers because that would make it look way cooler. Isn't that cool? <laughs> it's just a cube, like, ah, immersion. Oh wait, what's happening in there? Oh, fireworks. Look at that, out the top of it. Yeah, so it's a really interesting like little novelty item. It's kind of hard to do everything. It'd probably be easier if you were wearing it, but then it'd be like a less interesting experience, I feel like. It is very interesting to kind of meld these two technologies together, you know? And it does a really well, a decent job of tracking. Sometimes it falls in and out, but you know, what, what can you expect? I think it's pretty cool. It looks very interesting, but uh, I don't know. I'll give it a tasteful, but still, go play with some rocks. Be kids, you don't need these things to be happy. Luxstar Remote Control Centipede. Oh. We had a remote control snake once, and this actually looks more creepy. I oh, hate snakes. if the legs move, I'm out. I'm I done. Can't do that. I don't like those legs. I'm I'm, I'm done, dude. Uh, Add to cart. Oh, that's so big. Ooh. So it doesn't look like the legs move. It'll probably look enough like it's moving. Turn the wheels when it is still. What? Don't turn the wheels when it is. <laughs> This guy literally just takes anything that tells him to not do something and erases it from his memory. Like, it literally says don't, but I didn't read don't for some reason. You never did. Literally just broke it before I started it. Great. Fantastic job, Matthias. How to make... Holy... That will trigger some people. Yeah, that's scary from top down. Okay, it actually is scary. It doesn't feel like it's really waving when it's on the well, carpet. Yeah, it's on carpet. Do you think we'll be able to get some people with yeah, this? Yeah, 100%. Let's do it. People hate bugs. Hey, what you doing in here, dude? What am I doing in here? Yeah, what you We're doing in here, dude? Yeah, really He's working, dude? Well, not anymore. I'm really nervous now. <laughs> what is about to happen? Anytime you walk in with a camera here, <laughs> automatically... Yeah, nice. Who <laughs> <laughs> oh. turned it off? Uh, hey, hey, pretend that didn't happen. Hey, yeah, I'm just working. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh, what a great reaction! Yeah, that uh, worked. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Why? 
That's disgusting. <laughs> I'm just gonna say one thing. When I was a kid, those things used to scare the Where's crap out of me. He's stuck. <laughs> okay. I know it's fake, but it's still weird. Yeah, I got him still. <laughs> iDragon memory card reader, two in one Apple Lightning cable adapter, data sync. Okay, interesting. So it's just a cable that reads like a micro USB. Oh, I get it, I get it. Why do you need a long cable for it? Why couldn't you just put this part into that part? I think it's also a USB. Two in one. Maybe that's why. It's a two in one. All right, let's try it out. Add the cart. Okay, here we go. I assume you put that in there for me? Yes. There we go. All right, so. Really? <laughs> <laughs> they really need it to. It makes it look like it's way longer when they do that, but really it's just that. Okay, yeah, so it is a USB, but it's also a memory card reader. You see that, dude? Boom, not bad. Okay, so now I plug in my phone to it and we find out what is on this device. It says iUSB is not connected. You lie. Maybe I put it in wrong. Nope, it's in there. It just connected immediately. System information, test footage. I'm afraid of what I'm gonna find on here. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I, I, he's just like, please. Oh, this is old footage. It looks vintage as heck. <laughs> yeah, it does. Cool. I mean, it works. One final test. See if it charges. Oh, it's charging. There you go. Ticker, automatic metal and silicone casual watch. So it's a casual watch. Years, month, days. This doesn't look like a casual watch. Hours, minutes, seconds, local time. Oh, so it's like a countdown watch. Displays remaining lifetime. Time until product launch or any other special date. Remaining lifetime? <laughs> what does that mean? Like your own life? Yeah. Holy junk, dude. Ticker is a wristwatch that counts down your life and helps you make every second count. Count. Using statistics and a personal health algorithm, it will motivate you to make the right choices. Forget about all the smartwatches that keep you connected to your email 24 seven. Ticker is designed to help you seize the day, follow your heart and be happy. Dude, if I put this on and it's like seven days, I'm not coming back to work tomorrow. First time you put this on, dude, I'm never gonna see you again. You're gonna be running around every moment matters. Every moment counts so much. I'm gonna scream carpe diem. I'm gonna scream carpe has. diem, dude. I'm gonna stop making YouTube videos, that's for sure. <laughs> what a waste of life this is. He just puts it on and walks out. <laughs> Add to cart. The happiness watch. My favorite things in life don't cost any money. It's really clear that the most precious resource we have is time. Steve Jobs. Wait, Steve Jobs. it says my favorite things in life are the things that don't cost any money, but buy my product. No, no, this isn't his product. No, I'm saying like, why are they marketing it like that? Wait, why are they putting that quote on there? But then you're buying it. Because they're they're trying to tell you that this product will help people realize that. So maybe they'll throw it away, <laughs> but they still bought it. <laughs> I get you, I get you. Right here, it says 99 years, 11 months. Dude, if mine says anything more than 10 years, I'm feeling blessed. <laughs> I'm feeling blessed. Yeah, dude, you eat you eat garbage, dude. Okay, so I can adjust it. So the local time is what? It's 11.02. Years, months, days. Okay, so I can change this. How do I do it more accurately? Because I don't want to just put in one day, dude. I don't want to just put in seven days left to live. I don't want to be that guy, but that might be all you have left. So what's the algorithm? I thought they said they had an algorithm. Yeah. Wait, in here guys, in here it says life expectancy by country and gender. This is wrong. <laughs> I mean, this is all based on data. So it's not like they're just suggesting that. Well, yeah, but it's not like it's true either. Yeah, well, data shows you truths, my friend. In the United States, male 76, female 81, which is really high comparatively to all the other numbers that I'm seeing. Uh, Republic of Congo, 57 and 59. Qatar, 83 and 81. Men live longer. I'm moving there. Dude. You're moving to guitar? Yeah, once I hit 76. <laughs> I'll be like, this is how I add five more years onto my life. I'm moving to guitar. People live three years longer in United Kingdom. There's not as much pressure to succeed. In America, everyone's got a dream. <laughs> I'm 29 right now, so I have 47 years left. How does that make you feel, Matt? 47 years? That feels pretty good. I can do a lot in 47 years. I mean, the last 10 are pretty much you sitting on the couch. True. No, 47. I can still write. There, I mean, what? I mean, as far as the exact details go, I don't know if that matters too much, but there you go. For me, 47 years left. That's it, right there. 47 right. years left if I start actually caring. I don't eat great. I eat better than you, but I don't eat great. Matt's the kind of guy to order a crispy chicken tender salad, but only eat the crispy chicken tenders. <laughs> no, I ate the rest. <laughs> I ate not. the rest. Yes, I did. You do not, dude. He goes in there, he's like, can I get the salad, eat the chicken dinner, I'm full of stuff. <laughs> no, I ate the rest, dude. Stop that, dude. You literally got a 22 ounce beer. Yeah, because I crushed it. What you mean? I I'm honest with myself. Yeah, you're right. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, fine. I'm gonna get the. No, I'm still gonna get crispy chicken tenders. Who we get here? There's some things in life that just they matter a little bit more. If I live one year less, but I get to eat whatever I want, I would make that. I would make that game. Hundred percent. But it's I, usually not that. It's usually like 30, 40 years less. <laughs> it's an interesting idea though. I'm gonna just like put this on my desk one day. It's just gonna go from 47 to 46. I'm gonna be like, oh shoot. Just wait till it goes from 10 to nine, and then from three to two, and then. You're like, <laughs> 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 All right, guys. This is tasteful. This right here is waterproof fire. 10 things found at Walmart, no joke. It was actually waterproof fire. Not even kidding, not even clickbaiting you at all right there. So click that, it's pretty crazy. This right here is a video that YouTube thinks you specifically will enjoy. If you're new here, also subscribe because I'd like to see you here more often despite the size of my beard. All right, high five.